Все, не джесси. What's your name? Second episode of the very special Missions to the East series. Only a couple moons ago, Hero and the Unearthing the Supernatural crew received a call for help from a lone mother with her two cubs trying to make a living. But instead of happy times, they were haunted by nightmares, uneasy feelings and fear of their own home. I don't know, I just always feel like there's just someone, someone there. And I noticed that the kids, they hate being downstairs. They can't stand it. Plans for the trip were made, and many prayers and actions set its motion. Though it would seem that the activity had only gotten worse as the plans for the trip commenced. Apparitions appearing through telecommunications. I was uh, home alone and I was in the bathroom getting ready for the day and I was on FaceTime with my good friend and uh, as we were talking um, later on that day he had messaged me and asked me if uh, I had hung out with someone that day and I told him I was like no nobody was with me in the house or anything like that and he expressed that he saw someone standing behind me fireplaces starting on their own. Well, when he said that, like all the hair in my body and like chills down my spine came up and yeah. it just scared me. The, the fireplace, we have like one real fireplace and one like electric fireplace. One of the, the electric fireplace just like turned on. Oh, it, or the is lights, it? Yeah, it's a, well. Or do you have yeah, to kind of go up to it's it? It's two light switches and okay. stuff like that. But it's, it's ne it hasn't done that since. Okay. And, and that was the same time that, that uh, when that person made the call that you? It was that night. That night? It okay. was that night. And strings of bad luck and rough travels played the young family and the crew. We get closer and closer to our destination. We find ourselves always oh, running into these red light storms. as we journey to Hawkinville, Kentucky, the birthplace of the United States' 16th president, and the bloody presence of the Civil War invasion of 1862. The Unearthing the Supernatural crew seek to aid this mother and her children, and rid them of any beings that seek to do harm, and make their home peaceful once more. Get between me and Jason. So, what do you guys think? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of more antiques and everything, huh? I don't sense it. You don't sense it at all? I sense it. Once it leaves, it's gonna be around. We need to be shit this very delicately right here. It's gonna hide and hide. It's gonna hide and everything. Yeah, it'll find places to hide. That's what the thing is. So, you guys wanna go down by yourself? Since you have the camera, I'll, I can go because I'm already, I'm already kind of feeling things. Feeling things. So I'm gonna head down there. As the investigation commences, Sean Clinton volunteers to head downstairs into the basement to do a preliminary sweep of all the spirits below. Mannequins. Huh? 
Let's come back up here. There's a lot of activity in the mirror room. I'm living here. Uh, hang on, just move up for a little while. Whoa, 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 What? Caught it. Following you? There it is. Who are you? 3.5. I felt like something fall and then like footsteps came up behind me. Stay down there. We'll come talk to you later. Let's say the living room doing screw boxing. What's your name? What are you doing here? Can we give a shot, please? I know you've been affecting me since I got here. I sense you. You're like. Off. Blue light? Yeah. Get a blue light on the rim pod. It's steady, isn't it? What connection do you have to this house? Did you die here? Does that represent a temperature drop? Or is that just a solid reading? Walk up to this SP7 and speak. Is it a device that you use can, to speak with us if you want to spread any messages? What's your name? That was new. Feel like a scream? A man scream? Mm -hmm. How many of you are here? If you want us to leave, touch that red light. If you need help, touch that red light. What do you say? Not too sure. After receiving some compelling evidence upstairs in the living room, we join Sean Clan and Hero performing an investigation back down in the basement. Okay, I'll follow you. And close the door. So there was that uh, boy that was in the FaceTime photo. And I was on FaceTime with my good friend. Later on that day, he had messaged me and asked me if uh, I had hung out with someone that day. And I told him, I was like, no, nobody was with me in the house or anything like that. And he expressed that he saw someone standing behind me. Oh, there's an orb. She came out of the bathroom. Came towards me. Point two. Like as soon as you started going in that room, it came out of the bathroom. How did you pass on?
Did you die in the grounds of here? What are you? There's an orb that just went towards your hand. Millimeter. You know you're in here. Speak up. Speak through this device. Are you a human spirit? This is a boy, a man, huh? This is you, honey. You know it? So he's a human spirit. Pick up some more, come on. After some time investigating, the crew calls upon the mother to see if she can communicate with the demons that are haunting her home. What do you want? You know, I hear what I said. Help? What do you need help with? Go ahead and you ask that question. Huh? Ask what do you need help with? What do you need help with? War? War? Sean Clint and Pattaya decide to take the patient downstairs into the basement, while Hero starts making preparations for the upcoming ceremony. While downstairs, the crew starts to feel an uneasy feeling, like that of a child spirit trying to get a hold of them. Come over here. Let me talk with you. Are you a little one? Is it you? Yeah, I heard something. Is that whistle? Uh -huh. Here's the whistle again. It's kind of like a freaking of the door. The door was moving in there. You had the camera on it? Yeah, I got the camera on it. I yeah. didn't see it. Can I say something about my stick? I know, it's a it's 25. Yeah. After making some contact in the lower bedroom, the crew then moves to investigate the garage, also in the basement. 7.4. Ooh. 7.4. Oh, 7.4 to 0. 7.4 to 0. You're disrupting what they have here. You do not have a right to do that. There's something in here of yours. Do you lay claim to it? How are you feeling, Shinto? Uh, my head just got like really hot. I, like, I don't know. I just feel kind of like, like I'm getting kind of like really irritated. hot. Irritated with it. Irritated. Irritated. I just like, like my head just got like, like my forehead just got like really hot. But my hands are like freezing cold. The crew rejoins Hero upstairs 
to recap what they found in the basement. Move to the, uh, the garage, 7.4 spike. In the garage? In the garage. S then straight to zero instantly. 7.4, then down. I was holding it out like this, not even near this. And uh, she had started feeling some emotions, my shoulder started hurting. In the garage. In the garage. After hours of investigation, Hero decides it is time to initiate the final proclamation. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're here to let you know this is the final round. He sends down Shang Kledon Pattaya to go perform the final proclamation. This is the final opportunity for spirits to make their voices heard before the final ceremony begins, and Hero summons his spirits to perform the cleansing ceremony. Okay, Miss Mannequin, what do you have to say for yourself? Point four? Is that all you got? Point seven? Point five? I'm gonna need something better than that. Keep in mind, this is your last chance to speak. Because you want to get taken out? The message is now 4.7 when you felt you earlier. 7.4 actually was. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Get out? Well, too bad. I'm not getting out. Three. One of us is getting out, and it ain't me. Point five. Point four. I'm still gonna follow you first. All right, let's do it. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Last chance, last call, final round. Speak your piece. Let us know why you're here, or we're going to have to assume otherwise of you your bad intentions. If you have a on this house, let us know. Here. Are you a woman? Did you pass on? Chilly. Speak now. You want to stay here? Make some noise. Bang on the wall. Move something that we can see. Move this shirt right here. Speak into this box I'm holding. Make this jump up. Step in front of me. If this is... What was that? It sounded... It sounded like it said your name. Huh? It sounded like it said your name. You say my name? Yeah, that's my name. This is your home, let us know. We don't want to chase you out of your home if you're if you're good. That's my name, don't wear it up. We're going through each and every room, letting you know, hey. Speak your message that you want. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What do you want with this family? Final call. Cool skipping me. What's your name? Where do you come from? Is this your land here? Did you pass on here? Do you know somebody from here? 
Are you attached to anyone here? The final proclamation was said, and the ceremony then commenced. It was a long, intense ceremony. Many demons were caught and killed. The home was cleansed once more. But Sean Clan, during the ceremony, had a very rare and unique experience. Out of the group, Hero is the only one who has the ability to see spirits, in a way that you can see other humans. But Sean Clen, still learning, had a first-hand visual experience that marked a huge stepping stone on his learning path. So, I've been to many ceremonies with my brother, conducting the same ceremony we conducted in Hodgensville. Never in my life have I ever been able to witness his spirit's glory in action. Down the hallway in the kitchen lied a window that had the moonlight glaring in and out of that moonlight came darkness and in that darkness came the demon that lay in the basement the demon in the basement had horns as it peered out from the corner into the moonlight you saw the outline of the body and when my brother was singing and called upon his spirits you saw the head jerk violently and was decapitated from its body and shake it around with a war cry following not too long after as a glory kill as one of my brother's spirits has taken its life. As I was standing there in complete shock, I could only wonder but in awe uh, how I was able to see all these events. My brother himself had to grab me and pull me down so I could sit down and let the spirits conduct the ceremony and the search of the house for any more demons that may lay inside. But this ceremony was the first time I was actually able to see demons, my brother's spirits, with my physical eyes like how I see any physical human being, and that will forever change my life. That is the first time I've actually seen them in combat. <laughs> Jason, now. 